Greetings in the name of the most holy and powerful name of our wonderful Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the 33rd day of Lenten Reflection. Dear friends, we have reflected on what it really means to be broken. Today, I invite you to come along with me to watch the illegal court cases against Jesus. We look at what Jesus endured before being crucified, his appearance before Annas, Kephas and the Council of Elders of Israel. Israel's system of studying the law was one of the best in the world and the truth was held in high esteem except when it came to Jesus. A man could not be questioned without his lawyer being present. Jesus was given no lawyer. A man could not be tried during the night, yet Jesus endured two trials at night by Annas and Cephas before his third public trial at dawn before the Sanhedrin, that is, the elders of Israel as we read in the Gospels. We see that Jesus was silent before his accusers. More than 600 years previously, the prophet Isaiah said that when the Messiah came, he would be oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to slaughter and as a sheep before his shearers in silent. So he did not open his mouth. As we read in the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 53 verse 7. When Jesus came out of the house of Annas, he witnessed Peter's third denial and betrayal before being taken across the courtyard to the home of Cephas, the puppet high priest. Jesus stood boldly and did not reply to the lies and accusations from Annas and Cephas about him. Usually in capital cases, all legal proceedings of ruling elders had to be open to the public. Since Jesus didn't respond to any of the accusations, perhaps to weaken his resolve and courage, he was humiliated publicly, beaten up and scourged. Early in the morning, the elders sat in judgment of him. Standing before the Sanhedrin, the ruling body of 70 elders, he was already scourged and bruised. The meeting of the Sanhedrin was just a mock trial to satisfy the legal requirement. The real trial was illegally held before Annas and Caiaphas during the night. The accusation before the Sanhedrin was one of blasphemy, claiming that Jesus stated himself to be God and Messiah. As we read in Gospel of St. Luke chapter 22, verse 66 to 71, when the day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, gathered together and they brought him to their council. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. He replied, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question you, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. All of them asked, are you then the Son of God? He said to them, You said that I am. Then they said, What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. St. Luke points out the fact that Jesus would not incriminate himself. After all, he was not the one on trial. It was the ruling elders and high priest who were on trial. The high priest themselves were the ones who would speak blasphemy as would occur later. Shall I crucify your king? Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar. The chief priest answered. We read this in John chapter 19 verse 15. And the trial went on. The high priest could not get anything blasphemous out of his mouth. So bluntly and directly, the high priest put Jesus under oath to tell them, If he was the Messiah, the Son of God, I charge you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. St. Mark tells us that Jesus remained silent before finally answering. But he was silent and did not answer. Again, the high priest asked him, 
are you the messiah the son of the blessed god are you the messiah the son of the blessed one jesus said i am and you will see the son of man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven then the high priest tore his clothes and said why do we still need witnesses you have heard his blasphemy what is your decision all of them condemned him as deserving death some began to spit on him to blindfold him and to strike him saying to him prophesy the guards who also took him over and beat him how boldly he stood and spoke the truth as to who he is the great i am that i am we read in exodus 3:14 my dear brothers and sisters i invite all of you to reflect on this word i am may we all stand boldly and speak the truth of god's word amen